This first one comes in from Jacob. He was going to broadcast Lime, Map, and Potash because he doesn't have a strip till machine and wondering what kind of tillage would be the best to incorporate into the soil. So with Lime, that doesn't necessarily have to be worked in at all. And a lot of times with lime, we're just trying to change the top few inches of soil. That's where the pH really needs the most adjustment. But of course, if you've got deep soil samples and you say, no, 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 I've got a five pH as deep as you want to go. Great. Uh, you could do some deep till with that. Otherwise, I would say that is not necessary with the lime. And I would prefer not to get the lime in super deep in most cases. With map and with potash, I would love to see those four inches, six inches, 10 inches below the ground, at least some of them. So for me, I, I'm fine doing any kind of tillage with those. I don't like leaving those on top if I have a choice. So most guys in our geography are running with some medium tillage, putting in map and potash, but you could also put them a little deeper if you want. Generally, if we're doing tillage at six inches, we feel like we're getting a lot of the fertilizer down about three. If you're running 10 inches deep, 12 inches deep, you're probably getting it five or six inches in. So I'm fine with any of those for the map and the potash with the lime. I would be curious to see what your pH is once you're below the top six inches. If it's super low, then sure, go ahead and work it in. If it's not super low, then I would love to leave that lime on top. 